Uh, I just yeah. wanted to ask about um, uh, online learning uh, becoming the, the standard for all school boards uh, going forward. Is your government planning to make uh, some kind of virtual learning uh, a permanent uh, operation in Ontario schools? I think as we look back this past September, one of the strengths in our program was that we invested early in online learning. That was something that was very much opposed by so many in the province and the teacher unions and of course the opposition parties. I'm grateful that we stood strong on ensuring that we stood up a system uh, with the right infrastructure, with almost 200,000 more tablets, with 10,000 internet connections, with every high school in the province having internet connectivity. I'm proud that we made those investments ahead of the pandemic. And during the pandemic, we, we really lifted up the expectations of, of what we call that synchronous Zoom style learning experience where 75% of the day must be uh, live learning by a teacher. We think that has been a strength, recognizing for the majority of children in Ontario, the vast majority of children in Ontario, uh, they are benefiting from in-class instruction. And I believe so strongly that keeping schools open is fundamental uh, to their health and to their wellness. But I also believe parents will make the best decisions for their children. So right now we're consulting with a variety of partners in education to get their perspective about how we can uh, potentially create a system that is uh, safe, but also provides parents the choice that I think Ontarians benefited from this past September to put their child in class, which three out of four kids did or are in today, or for that minority, 20, 25% of kids that have benefited from the online instruction led by their teacher. So we're going to continue to consult and uh, we'll uh, release the, uh, uh, the decision in the coming weeks once that is done. Thank you. Uh, so, so just to be clear, it seems like you're envisioning um, a school year in which a child doesn't have to miss a day of school, whether it's because they're ill, because of a snow day or whatever, that a child will be able to uh, switch between in-class and remote learning seamlessly throughout the school year. Is that right? We're trying to mitigate learning loss. I think we, we're trying to understand how can we use the strengths of online learning, either as a backstop or as a primary choice for those parents that choose it to ensure a child's continuity of learning is protected. Snow days in 2021, uh, all these sort of limitations, natural or otherwise, I think is, uh, is a problem. And I, we want kids to be learning every day, that consistency in their, in their routine and in getting through the curriculum expectations is so important for these kids. And especially after this past year, for all children in this country or for the entire uh, you know, in the, for the globe, uh, there is significant learning loss. So anything we can do to mitigate that, to improve the learning experience, to ensure we have continuity and consistency is the aim. But we're going to continue to consult with our partners as we look to potentially providing that choice to parents and they will make the right decision, the best decision for their children. We trust them to do that. Uh, but I think step one is to make sure we've heard from all the voices on how we can really uh, further strengthen our online learning system, a system that has dramatically improved from last spring, respectfully, when we had to first close schools last March, to this past fall. And I continue to hear from parents. Obviously, many of them will say, I want my child in class. Fair point, I agree. But for those that have had to do the online learning, maybe because a cohort got dismissed and now they're doing the two weeks online, they've acknowledged there's been a massive improvement. And I'm proud of our educators and our administration working so hard to lift up that expectation, that experience. I just want to go further. I want to continue to strengthen a program that we've only really started for a couple months in Ontario. We've never been in this world of providing K-12 to education uh, all year. So there's many lessons learned. We're going to continue to listen uh, with the aim of building up an excellent world-class system of education in school and based on the consultation potentially online as well.